Hi, I'm Rose Vogel Show Up. Today's October 19, 2023. <clears throat> and I got this prophetic word at 1204 this morning. Um, Father, we thank you for it. We rebuke the evil going on and the hatred going on in Jesus' name. We rebuke the deaf, dumb, and blind spirits that are out there in Jesus' name. And we thank you for loving us enough to give us encouragement and show us the things we need to correct, the things we need to do. So this is what I got. The world is not in a peaceful place. It's filled with too much hate. And that's a disgrace. My people have been rejected since the beginning of time at the drop of a dime. The blame falls back on them. Evil cannot be their friend. And the blind, deaf, and dumb spirits keep them from hearing it. The truth of who they are, my sons and my daughters by far, and the truth of my son will be overcome as they are led to the truth. I will reveal this truth, and those who walk with me will be free. While evil stands waiting to attack with these evil monkeys on their back, they will be chaos around, making my people frown. Until we can walk away from this life, away from the night and into the light, darkness will be there to torment. It's abhorrent. Pray for each other as sister and brother and rebuke evil wherever it is, for it truly does exist. Keep your eyes on my truth. It's all you have as proof. And stay away from those who stray. They are the ones who forget to pray and end up led astray. These are my words for today. Make sure you all continue to pray. Watch out for the day that things will collapse, creating the synapse. Love you, Father, who art in heaven. That's what I got. What's going on in our country, <laughs> the United States of America, is absolutely, it's disgusting. Human beings out there putting swastikas on Jewish delis and stuff. I mean, seriously? The Jews did nothing. They got attacked by evil people who murdered their families, beheaded babies. The whole hospital thing, they now know that Hamas made the mistake. But they're still out there. They're still out there listening to nothing but lies. Listen, if we don't start getting truth, we're done. Because all we have is the truth. And we have to nail evil and stop it. Nobody should be out protesting the Jews with these hate crimes, telling them they should be murdered. Like what happened in Germany. This is really a sad day for this world. And we really need to pray. Because many are being led astray and they're following what they hear. And then they just disappear and they walk into the darkness and they go further and further away from the light. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And we must, as the body of Christ, join forces instead of picking on each other and finding fault with each other we have to join together as one mind and one mind and one accord so that evil cannot be ignored and rebuke in the name of jesus yeshua because that's where the power and the fire come from that name above all names so we have to be unified against this war that's going on and Trust me when I tell you, it's a war. We are in a war right now. And things have just started. This country is going to fall to her knees. The Democrats and the Republicans are all coming together as far as standing up for Israel. But then you have those crazy ones, like the squad who have such hatred towards the Jews, they can't help themselves, but try to find fault with everything that they do. It's terrible. 
Why should we hate each other just because we have different religions? Why? Why should we hate each other because we're different colors? Why? It's evil. It's evil. That's the only explanation. Because God did not create us like this. He did not. But the Bible explains it. And it says in the word of God that they loved the darkness more than they loved the light. And that's what we're dealing with. So we rebuke it, Father, in your mighty name, Jesus. We use that name above all names that we bind the evil going on in this country and the world. We know it won't get fixed until Jesus comes back with us as the bride after we get raptured. But there are countries that are going to follow God, and America's one of them. And Israel's, God has his hand on Israel too. And a lot of them are going to come to know Jesus. They already are. There are Jews all over the world that are accepting Christ as their Lord and their Savior and recognizing that he is the Messiah. They are coming to the truth. So keep the prayers going. Be prepared. Be prepared. There are events happening. I mean, they're all protesting at the Capitol right now against the Jews. They should be thrown out. They shouldn't even be allowed in there. It's just warped right now the way things are. And we need to get the White House back. And we better make sure we pray. And we better make sure we get out and vote. And we better make sure we vote for the man that God has chosen, which is Trump. God has picked him to help this country. He already was helping this country. Nobody can say he did anything when he was in the White House against America. He fixed things in America. Even the God, people that hate him can't say he did anything. They can make it up. He's chosen by God. Forget his personality issues, if you think he has them. He's human like everybody else. But that man's never had a drink. He's never done drugs. He's lived a clean life that way. Oh, yeah, he's got his other issues, you know. But I see God moving in on him. He said it like three times the other day when he was talking, God bless this group and God bless that group and God bless America. And he's definitely uh, being moved by the Spirit. So I'll be back when he sends me back again. Just telling it like it is. Gary and I love you very much and have a blessed day. Uh -huh.